to the to the mule. And uh, he said to the horse, he said, uh, "You think you're gonna get some of this, but you ain't, you know." <laughs> Although the date is unknown, Samuel met and married Elizabeth Holt before he turned 20 years old. He married uh, Elizabeth Holt. She was, uh, the, in fact, their families live within a few miles of each other, I guess, because in, in the census that was taken back, uh, I'm not sure what year, but uh, they lived uh, just down the road from each other, the Holt family and the Murdoch family. Uh, grandpa, uh, Grandma was just, uh, I think, was just a little bit older than Grandpa. Grandma and uh, Grandpa both, I believe, were born in Lawrence County, Tennessee. But, uh, uh, yeah, and I, I know that uh, Grandma, uh, her family, was uh, down around from down in uh, near, over near Wayne County, a place called, near Fish Trap, they call it. It's where they were, where she was raised, Grandma uh, Murdoch. So they got married, and how many children did they have? I believe they had seven that lived. Uh, the, um, uh, that seven seems to run the family. Seven of us, with seven on the mother's side of the you family. And all, everybody's name? Or, uh, all of uh, the children, their children's name? Yeah, uh-huh. Uh, it was, uh, Daddy was the oldest, and, uh, Uncle Birch, I mean, Aunt Bernie, so I'm not sure which one, uh, was the, uh, oldest, but they, they were right in there in that age. I mean, as far as age is concerned, they were, fell right in there somewhere. Then uh, Uncle Gordon was the youngest boy. An interest in music and art was ingrained into the Murdoch family from an early time. Not only was uh, could uh, Grandma improvise, but I understand from Daddy that uh, she was, uh, she played, played music, she was an or played the organ, and uh, Dad said, uh, or at least indicated to me that she could paint also. But um, her uncle, Dan Walker, was a great song leader and, and songwriter and everything around in Lawrence County back in, way back in the 20s and 30s. And uh, he tried to get Daddy to go to, to take that as a profession. He tried to get Daddy to learn to uh, lead the singing and everything, and, which he did. He, he, he was able to. He could read those old notes, I think. At one time, I know he could read those old uh, triangle and, and uh, diamond-shaped notes and everything that he used to write all the gospel music in. He could read all those. I think Connie and Gary can, can read them, too. He, mother, mother uh, she also was a good singer. She knew a few chords on the guitar, but she never tried to uh, tried to do anything with it or never tried to play regular or anything. She didn't know a few chords on the guitar. Taught me my first one. Together, Samuel and Elizabeth bore seven children, the eldest being Walker Woodson Murdoch, born on May 13, 1905. He was born in Lawrence County. My daddy was born in Lawrenceburg. That was in 1905. And the reason why I remember that specifically is one time he said, we were, they were going to tear, tear down the courthouse. So they were going to tear it down, and it said uh, up on the peak up there, it said 1905. And he said, Well, they're tearing that down, and I won't know what year I was born then now since they've turned that down. So I managed to get to the excavator there, it was tearing that down. And he and I told him, hey, How about saving that 1905 for me up there? But when he tore it down, it was all copper tin, is what it was, but it's ragged. So I just took the face off of it. Anyway, I put the face 1905, put it on a plaque, and I give it to him, I think, on his 70th birthday. He went to Lawrenceburg Public School, and he also, I think he went one year to Lawrenceburg uh, to the high school. Dad had a fourth or fifth or sixth grade education, I believe, but he was the best one in the family with math and stuff like that. The, he was good on it, you know, good at it. And uh, I don't know, I didn't take after him, because that was my worst subject.